Hey, what's going on everybody? Suru here. Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, so it is almost a reset day. Hopefully tomorrow we get some really incredible new items in the premium shop. And hopefully they're not too expensive. But I will be doing our weekly reset like we usually do. And uh, I'm just really happy for that because I missed out on last week's reset stream. But we got to take a look at last week's robbery. So I am really curious which members in our community got robbed because it makes me sad every single week but let's try and figure out what went wrong and see if it was just the algorithm or if there's any tips or pointers that we can give out and uh, let's just jump right into it now if you guys do enjoy this video at all please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and let's go check out screw the shop all right let's see what we got um we have a wally item uh, a new oval table. Okay, I'll definitely take that. I love this little this thing right here. If you guys ever get it, it looks so good and so many dream snaps. Uh, I have all that stuff. I have this. Oh, I don't have this. Okay, we got a round pale wood dresser. And do 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 do. Have all of this. All this picture of Mickey. Tangle. Oh, look at Merlin sleeping over there. That man is straight snoozing. <laughs> Let's see. We. Oh my gosh, the mine cart. Yes, we finally got it. The industrial metal cart from Monster Inc. This was just added to the game. I really want that because I have a build I want to do, and I can finally do it. Ten thousand for this. I honestly thought this was going to be a frozen item, but it's just other category. And then that, and then this. Alrighty, let's click on the Rob a tag up here and let's see how many submissions. We got like four, eight, 12, 16, about 20 members that had put down Rob. Let's take a look. So we got SC here. I hate to be ungrateful, but they got 2,500, which is a good amount of Moonstones. It really is. But you know, when you, when you have a really nice submission, it is hard. And yeah, like it makes you wonder like what else could they have really done? Because everything is set up really nicely. They have lots of colors, lots of everything going for it. I still think it's worth 4,000. Obviously some adjustments you probably could have made is like get your Mickey cloud over a little more so it shows like right here in an open spot. Maybe that would help, I don't know. I think this one may be a case of just not getting shown very much. Another thing you always want to focus on is lighting. So if you ever have your character in a big open space like this, set your sun to where the sun is hitting your character directly and it will change your whole photo. Even though it looks, it's the exact same setup, something like getting that lighting to hit your character like right here in the face on the body, it just makes your character glow and you'll do so, so much better usually. So that is something to always keep an eye of. Whenever I first do a dream snap, I always figure out which way the sun is directing or like which way the sun is facing. And I want to stand like that way where whether I want the sun to hit my character from the front or the back, it really depends on the theme, but always do that. So that's just a little tip that could help. Overall, your decorating skills are very nice. I love how symmetrical the photo is. The outfit is perfect. I think you did a really awesome job. All right, we got Samantha over here. Really wanted to get a fireworks shot with the castle, but no fireworks were coming out, so I did the Yeah, the winter castle just got, it's like a bugged. I don't know why. So they got 1,200 moonstones for this. Let's take a look. Uh, 16 and 14 on tag, so they did go above and beyond. Outfit is nice. Uh, let me see. I really like the whole skyline, like the whole background and everything. I think another one on this is probably the lighting uh, maybe could have been changed. So you have your light hitting your character like kind of on the backside a little bit, which is casting a lot of shadows going this way, which kind of makes your shot look a little bit darker in certain areas than it really is. So maybe if you had an angle differently where the sun was like hitting your character from this angle, it might have changed things. The background looks nice. I actually like it. I mean, it kind of shows off some of the nature and the mountains and everything, but you also have some of the rides. So it's not like too much because sometimes the photos are just too much. But overall, I think it's a really good photo. I actually like how you have the teacups over here um, taking up a good portion of the photo and then it's nice and open. Then you have some more and you also have another character. I think it looks really good. I'm not really sure what happened there. We got Breezy here. They got 900 Moonstones. Oh, this is actually really, really cute. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes these borders don't look the best, but the way you frame this up with this white border, 
it actually looks really good with the different color scheme that you have going on and you have mickey sitting on the wall and mickey statue that's too cute paired it up with some benches i i don't know i really like this usually i don't like these the angles from these shots where it's like kind of bird's eye in a way top down but it looks really good on this one like the way they have it set up it looks really nice you know like this whole area leading up to woody's carousel i like yeah i really i don't know i think that is worth way way higher than 900 that is crazy you know you have a lot of little amusement things here it looks like a nice little theme park Okay, we got Ruby. Did I get robbed? So 1,200 Moonstones. I thought that this would have done better. What do you think? Did I get robbed? But I was more happy with it and it was fun doing, which is the main point of all this. Um, yeah, yeah, honestly, for 1,200 Moonstones, I think you did get robbed because, you know, you have, I don't know, the angle to me is really nice. Your character is an interesting pose. Uh, you have everything lined up nice and neat. You still have a pathway, so it looks like a nice amusement park. I love the statue over here on the left. You got Scrooge's shop, which we usually don't see used in too many Dream Snaps. You got the Ferris wheel, like a lot of the rides in the back. Your character has got the fox, definitely prepared for the day. Your foreground is covered. The sky is beautiful. Ah. Yeah, I th I do. I think you got robbed. That's a beautiful picture. All right, we got Astro over here. 600 Moonstones. No description. You know, this is actually a cool shot too. It's a nice picture. But I think when it comes to how people, you know, I've been doing dream snaps for months and months. Probably almost, we're getting close to about the year mark here in a couple of months. And one thing I do know is there's certain angles that work well and certain that don't. And I love the idea of this. And I love how you have like your theme park set up here and you have the, the staircase and stuff. But I think if you would add your character standing right here or somewhere else and then got more of the, the picture full of like the rides rather than just the environment, like most of this, like half of it is just the environment. I think it would have done better. It's also hard to see your character and the outfit and everything. A lot of people really look for more than just the background, even if it's just a decor challenge. A lot of people will look more at what the character looks like and how they work within the photo. So uh, it looks really good, but sometimes these shots are really risky. Okay, um, daughter steals her first 4K. So we have two right here. The top one got 1500 Moonstones. Let's take a look at this. Oh, no way. How did this get 1500? I love the shot. The outfit is too cute. You even got the little tiny like micro wings. Look at Rapunzel's pose. That is too perfect. The sky is beautiful, especially with the volcano and the, the purple lights, the trail. You have just a, a few amusement rides. This looks beautiful. Very high tags too, 56 and 46. Dang, nah, you got robbed on that one. The second one here is 4,000. Um, Let's see. Oh, this is cute. I love how you have a lot of characters. You, dang, Goofy. Goofy's stealing the show over here. I like how your character and Goofy are kind of making the same pose, too. Uh, Scrooge's shop. You got a little bit of stuff going on. Premium shop. We got Merlin, Kristoff. I think this is cute, too. And then you have a lot of tags. I think those are both worthy of 4,000. But that shot right there is beautiful. We got Ghostly. They said, seriously? Come on. All right, so they got 600 for this one. Let's take a look. Let me enlarge this photo a little bit um let's see so it does look nice you got the statue you have um the castle and everything there are a few empty spots kind of like over here uh it kind of looks like a stage is set up a little bit so it looks really cute if you could have worked in the angle where it's like none of this grass showing or remember that you can put down little like plants and bushes and stuff it's free you don't have to craft them so if you ever get a shot like this it looks beautiful and you have some empty space like that throw down some bushes throw down some trees things like that just to fill it in and not only would it fill in this spot here and this one here it would also frame up the side so you would have like say you put some trees and bushes it would frame up the corners and it would just make it look like an actual full scene within here like something that was taken in a theme park rather than that's something that's a little bit set up so i do like how you use this little like maze item here to frame up the bottom something like that is really nice so if you could have done that to that side and that side i think it would do better but uh it does look really nice the lighting on it's really good you have some really good ideas like with this down here and then the whole castle and the mickey statue and everything i love the symmetry with the fountains 
Uh, it's a really great picture. Ali here, they said, I feel robbed. 2,500 moonstones here. Oh my gosh, this is such a unique theme park. This is cute. I love the lighting. I love the way you set this up. You have the rights there. It's definitely amusement park. I mean, you got the pathing and everything. You got the photo booth. Dang, this one definitely got robbed. Yeah, this is a really, really good unique submission. Pretty disappointed in my rank. We have aspiring Aries here. My 4k streak has ended with this challenge. I'm so sad I didn't have any star path items, so I tried my very best. Let's see what they got. So they got 1200 moonstones. <sighs> Man, this one's just like the last one. This is a photo. The more you look at it, the more genius it really is. So like they put 2024 here with the blocks. You got Mike in here, you got Goofy, you have several cast members. The Hollywood Tower back here with the different shades of trees. You even got some of the premium shop items. You got the Pizza Planet. Uh, it's like a little rides over here. I love that you use some Eternity Isle pathing. And you also have like uh, just different color schemes than what you usually would see. Your character is super cute. Wow, I love this submission. This is really, really good. You definitely got robbed, especially at the 1200 mark. This one, it's a nice full photo. Lots of different unique ideas. Definitely worthy 4,000 in my opinion. Cast said, I honestly feel robbed. So they got 1500 Moonstone. You guys know me, I'm a huge sucker for lights. Bright lights, lots of colors and stuff. So for me, I like this. I would have voted for it. The only thing I can see that I would have changed is this big flower right here. You got to be careful with some of these um, flowers when you put them down because some of the flowers are really big. So you have to get them in the right spot and it kind of takes up most of your character, but also a lot of your photo. Like if you look, it takes up like this whole section right here. So whenever you first look at this picture, boom, that flower is right there. I don't I don't I'm not saying that's why you didn't get the rank that you wanted. I'm just saying something like that could have been changed. I overall, I love it. I would have voted on this photo even with the flower regardless because I love the colors. Like it, it would take a lot of work to get all these lights and stuff and everything put in the perfect spot. Lots of symmetry. You even got Mickey over here. I think that is a really good contender for top 1000. I love this submission. We got Miranda Lorian here. I thought I'd do a little better than this, especially because I caught a Mickey cloud recreating Disneyland with the partner statue in front of the castle. 1500 for this one. Oh, this is cute too. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of something similar. If you, I always say this, like, but draw lines on where stuff goes in your, your valley. Like whenever you're setting up your dream snap. So like your character, if you draw a line, your character is taking up like the middle, which is good. It's, you know, you got a lot of main focus here, but then where your decorations start, they kind of go like right this, like right, right around here. So everything else right here is not decorated. So it's just whatever's in the environment. And I think that would be some of the issue because like, about half of your photo is something that you haven't decorated yourself and sometimes that can be a little riskier because with it being here on the front there's so much focus on that you have a lot of beautiful stuff going on in the background that you yourself had created so sometimes you got to find that balance between what is like natural in the valley and also what is man-made what you created and try and blend those together and i think if you would have stood back here a little bit by your partner statue and got more of this in the photo you would have nailed it because outfit's beautiful. The background is so beautiful. I wish I could see more of what you created. And then you have that big, gorgeous sky with all of the constellations and everything. It's a really good submission. I think uh, it's more about angling and where your character is positioned, but it looks really good. Oh, we got Meg over here. Looks like they went for a beach theme. 1500 moonstones and high tags. Third week in a row with awful results. Just about ready to give up and play another game. All right, let's take a look at this. So I think this looks really nice. Um, lighting could kind of be adjusted just a little bit. I love everything that's set up. You really know how to frame your photo nicely. So you have like a lot of flowers here. You got the left side framed up, but you left the, the right side where all that light is coming in nice and open. So that's really good. Uh, you just have the one single tree right here. I think if you would have put a couple more trees in here and pathing, I think or pathing, pathing, I think it's so important, 
uh, to be able to frame up the ground also. So if you put the path down that you want and that would work well with these items, I think it could have transformed the photo a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, just balance it out by having more trees than just this. Probably, you know, if you have one over here, maybe add a tree. Even if it's just the leaves, like the palms and everything hanging off right here, but the trees outside, I think that would have helped a lot too. Um, it looks like a really good photo. You definitely know how to decorate. You got the right items down. I think it's just a few minor things like that could really help you. Got Zom's Bear over here. They got 1,200. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. You have all of the characters in here. Look at Mike. <laughs> He's got... Mike looks so funny in Dream Snaps to me. Your character is set up interesting. Uh, for a day at Disney, it would be interesting to see a character that looked like that. They probably think you were a cast member. I think what went wrong here was it's a lot of characters, but for a decor challenge, a lot of the decor isn't really the main focus of your photo. So a lot of it's back here. You have a lot of beautiful stuff going on, a lot of stuff you decorate. You got the statue and everything. Uh, I think it's just most of your photo, again, drawing that line like this. Almost like 70% of your photo is just the characters. And then all the stuff you created that fits the theme that looks beautiful is kind of in the back. So again, kind of adjusting where the items are compared to characters and where they are in your photo, I think could really help. We got Bird Tree over here. Um, Let's see, 1,500. Let's see what they got. Oh, wow. This is great gorgeous wait they said how much 1500 this is beautiful look at the colors the lights the way they lined up like they have the sun over here some clouds a mickey cloud the castle the statue everything's lined up i really like how you did all these little arcades like how they're sloped like that this is beautiful and then Mirabelle's house way out here in the distance looks really good. The balloons, your character. Dang. Yeah, this one got robbed 100%. This is fourth. And it's like a nice photo. Like it's not overcrowded. Everything is framed up very nicely. I love all the water you have on it. This is just one of those submissions you come across that just look really cool. And I love it, especially if the illuminating flowers are there. Yeah, I am so sorry, Bertrand. You definitely got robbed. This had to have been the case of not getting sent to many people. That is gorgeous. We got Natalie Cooper here. I feel robbed. I hope for at least 1,500, but 900, what went wrong? Probably the highest tags I've had to, 27 and 29. Okay, so they got 900. Oh, this is cute. What? Wow, this one. You know, I actually like this lighting, especially for the setup. But I think that the issue was, one, it probably didn't get sent to many people also. But two, I think maybe the lighting, it is kind of dark in some areas, which is fine. But when it comes to Dream Stops voting, again, after doing this for so long, it just seems like the community likes certain things in certain ways so sometimes these darker submissions just don't do well a lot of it usually the higher ranking ones i notice are the really bright colorful sparkly photos and sometimes these more unique and then uh i don't know more grounded photos don't do as well i actually really like how you put the black borders too and made it look like a cinematic shot which looks really nice and what's cool about this one is your amusement park looks active it's one of the few that I've come across that looks like people are just doing their own thing rather than like set up in a stage or something like that, which is really nice. I love how your characters over here looks like you're chatting with Anna. Uh, love the vending machines, the lighting and everything. Yeah, dang. You definitely got robbed with the submission. I really like it. And you paired up like the whole darkness vibe with Woody's carousel, the vending machines and everything. It just works out perfect. All right, honestly, I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed. Oh, no, this is Chance Froggy. I had them in my uh, video, like my inspiration video. 2,500 Moonstone. Dang, yeah, I really like this. Love your character. Love the whole background and how big the sky is. It's beautiful with the fountain and everything. You have like a little nice nature area set up here. Oh, man, I hate to see, you know, I, I include a lot of these submissions in my inspiration videos. And then when I make my Rob videos, it makes me really sad when I see that <laughs> they're both in this, you know, both videos. Dang, that's a really good submission, though. I really like it. We got Calypso here. Let's see. They got 2,500 for the top one and 4,000 on the bottom one. So let's take a look at the top one. Oh, sheesh. This was 2,500. I don't even have to say anything. We all know this one's robbed, right? 
look how full like the photo is perfect again this one there's no way it just didn't get shown to people they even got the lighting down hitting their character like i was explaining in the beginning and the lighting is also hitting scrooge's shop which really makes it shine and stand out a lot oh my gosh i'm so sorry yeah this one you just had to have not gotten shown that is crazy we got shades so great uh let's see they got 600 oh come on what is going on guys look at this this is not 600 this is 4000 this is top 500 to me without a doubt love the outfit characters cute love the items the setup you even included like the haunted mansion you got pizza planet oh wow yeah i am upset for you this is beautiful you did a really good job definitely keep your head up the community definitely agrees that you were robbed that's a really great submission we got cat over here let's see they got 1500 oh wow you have a lot going on and this is over here in eternity isle you even went down to putting like all the details for putting down a bunch of food uh i love how you set up the fence it definitely a different take and a different style maybe a lot of people didn't see your vision that you do with it i do i think it's actually a really unique theme park and to me i think a lot of these themes don't have to be your standard that most people think you know like when you think of an amusement park a lot of people think of just like how disney is you know the brick uh path and all that and then the rides i really like when members think outside the box and go a against the current and do something else while sticking to the theme but unfortunately at dream snaps it just doesn't work out which is really sad because at first i thought dream snaps was going to be all about creativity and we just get robbed in that aspect but really beautiful submission and our last one here is cash me outside i'm so happy my wife got her 4k her snap is amazing really bummed mine got robbed so let's see uh, uh let's take a look at hers real quick Oh, four, yeah, she got 4,000 for this one. That is awesome. They were able to capture the, like, spooky, eerie vibe, dark, and still got their 4K. You know, they did have it dark. Like, it's dark in the right spots, but then the whole photo, like, here in the, the middle is really bright and beautiful. Let's see. What did you get? You got 2,500. Still a good rank. Oh, my gosh. This is cute. They even have everything set up like an amusement, like a theme park. How did this not get 4K? character looks nice look at goofy um it also looks like it's a very active theme park you got you got a little booger sitting on the statue that is too cute man this one just got robbed i mean there's not much more to say i don't see anything that i would change wait you have this on eternity isle too that's at the beginning right okay now i'm very impressed you transformed your eternity isle from that like beach and stuff to this that is incredible you deserve your 4k for that Alrighty, guys so that's it for the video sad sad day to see so many community members get robbed when it's such a beautiful submissions i really enjoyed taking a look at them though i hope you guys don't get robbed this coming week uh tomorrow actually good luck with your results i hope you guys have the best day ever and i'll see you in the next one